Kimono Dungeon back with another episode today here on YouTube. If you don't know me, I am the owner of Kimono Dungeon fursuits. I specialize in kimono and toonie style fursuits and I have been making them actively since 2021. Here on my YouTube channel, I like to do vlogs and tutorial videos as well as other forms of furry content like my famous furry list videos. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the five important tools for fursuit making that I think all new fursuit makers should invest in first. Stick around to the end of the video where I share a bonus one. But for the five that I do, I'm going to be going in order of least expensive to most expensive. So it's tough to say which one I would prioritize first if your funds are limited. For the first one, which is the cheapest and will probably run you about five to ten dollars, I feel like this is the most accessible one. But pins or clips for keeping fur together when you're sewing. This one I feel is very important because if you're running your fur through a sewing machine or if you're trying to get markings even, keeping the fur pinned when you sew, whether it's hand or machine sewn, Pins and clips make that process so much easier. And this is especially important if you're working with a slippery fabric like Lycra, for example, how these paws are lined, this material is pretty slippery. So when I ran it through the sewing machine, I used clips, which I'll probably post in a video of it somewhere, but these clips open and shut so you can keep the fur in place. Highly recommend them. They make your life a lot easier. Not a requirement though. You don't necessarily need them. For my second recommendation, and this one, if you're gonna get something, I, I would definitely, you need this, is a glue gun. The reason this is on this list is because I would invest in a high quality one. Yes, you can get a cheap 10, $20 ad tech one, like I'll post a video of here, That'll work temporarily. Now, the problem with these cheap ones is they break easily. And I know some people have mentioned that they've caught fire before. So when you start earning money, when you start saving up, invest in a much better one. I have a Black & Decker one coming on the way to my house because finally making some money, finally saved up enough to get a good quality glue gun. But in a pinch, a cheaper one will work. Because you need a glue gun to make a fursuit head. Don't really need it for hand paws, but you need it for making the main part of the fursuit. So definitely a very important one. All of these are important, but if you're gonna get one first, you get that. The third thing that I would suggest investing in is either spring-loaded scissors or strong scissors for cutting foam and fabric and fur. Spring-loaded scissors will save your wrists and prevent carpal tunnel, all sorts of things. You could even go so far as to add in this section an electric carving knife if you are using extremely thick foam, five inch plus, whatever. You're gonna need that to go through it. it makes your life easier, especially if you're making digi patterns. But good quality scissors last much longer. They cut through fur and fabric much cleaner. You don't have to sit there and snip, 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 snip for two and a half hours trying to just get one piece because your scissors are gone. I personally own a pair of gingers. I think they're very high quality. They're all metal. I've had mine for almost 10 years. It's for only my fabric and craft projects. Never on paper, fabric only. I have a pair of foam scissors, as well as an electric carving knife for when I make padding. So that would be the third thing that I would suggest an investor. You do need scissors to cut fabric, but you can get away with a cheaper pair than Ginger. 
which can sometimes run 50 to 100 dollars depending on the kind or how many you get or if you get spring loaded i think they're even more i don't remember but the fourth one and this is definitely needed or it's going to at least make your life easier if you make a head is a good pair of clippers now obviously clippers are usually used in animal grooming so they're going to be 50 to 200 dollars depending on the model you get how many blades you get all that kind of stuff you're going to need the clipper the blade and probably some clipper oil to keep your blade nice and sharp and all that good stuff do not i repeat do not no 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 do not use beard trimmers don't use the stuff that's lying around your house bacteria will get into the fur you will have an irritated face and beard trimmers usually are not strong enough to go through thick fur this rust fur for example is incredibly thick and is incredibly hard to shave this is something i would not cheap out on it's not going to be cheap but it will last you a long time i have the oster golden a5 turbo model two speeds interchangeable blades i have had it for hmm probably as long as my scissors long time never had motor issues i clean it regularly i have all sorts of types of blades they can be pulled out and interchanged the most often used one is the 10 blade for me i like that length some people will use a 7 blade 7f 10f whatever personal preference but that is going to be the second most expensive thing you'll invest in that i feel is pretty necessary for first suit making again 50 for a lower end model 200 for a higher i believe mine was something around 150. don't remember i'll probably link it somewhere either in the description or in the video if you have found this video really helpful i would really appreciate a like and if you want to follow for even more content consider subscribing i am posting videos weekly so i'm sure that there will be even more great lists and furry content as well as tutorials for you to learn your support means a lot and even you just watching this video means a lot to me so anyways the fifth and final one that i would consider investing in is a sewing machine now not 100 percent required the first suit i ever made didn't own a sewing machine hand sewed everything don't don't recommend it but you can do it i now have a higher end model called a husqvarna opal 670. you don't need something like that however fur is very thick you do want to get a heavy duty sewing machine that on the low end will probably cost you around 250 dollars but if you're wanting to make body suits hand paws stuff with a zipper in it you want a sewing machine i feel this type of stuff should not be hand sewn it takes way too long it'll speed up your process too but for high traffic stuff high use stuff like hand paws and body suits especially should always be sewn, reinforced. Hand sewing is just not going to cut it, especially if you want to sell for suits. It's not professional, it's going to cause problems, trust me. That's gonna be the biggest barrier of entry, I think. That can be anywhere from 200 some dollars to a thousand plus, depending on what you get. Mine was the more expensive model, so save up, find out what's best for you. I have the Husqvarna, like I said. But you can get a singer or a brother there's plenty of entry models and when you outgrow that machine and save up more money buy another machine i've killed three machines so trust me it happens as promised the bonus piece that i think every new fursuit maker should invest in a very good head form to build your heads on this one is an old mannequin head from a department store that went out of business I got it for hmm, 20 bucks maybe very cheap i have three of these they have adjustable bases i got lucky with mine 
There are many places you can get them. I do not suggest getting the styrofoam mannequin heads from places like Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Those are too small, those don't work. One like this that is a mannequin base that has shoulders and stuff works very well. It is pretty much normal head size, so it works very well for that. You gotta be careful and find one that is a normal head size. You can measure. I would definitely consider looking at department stores and retail stores that are going out of business. Just keep an eye out in your area, see if there's any going out of business signs. You can look online. There's secondhand dealers all over the place. Look at Facebook Marketplace. There's also a company called Monster Makers that makes head forms. They do it for special effects, I think. Those are more expensive though. I got lucky and got mine for pretty cheap. You're looking to spend around anywhere probably from $50 to $200, I think, on these. Depending on how many you get, if you just need one. I have three. I work on a lot of suits a lot. So I need three. But that's a bonus one. I think it is extremely important to have it. You can also make your own. I will consider making a tutorial on how to make one if I get enough response of that, hey, people want to see that. So if you're one of those people that wants to see how to make their own mannequin head from duct tape, save a lot of money, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, tell me what you think. And if I get enough interest, I will make a video on it. But that is all for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for listening in. Do you agree with my list of B5? Well, bonus six, most important things that all new fursuit makers should invest in first. If you do, let me know. If you think there's something else that's more important, leave a comment below. I wanna hear your thoughts. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'm Curl from Kimono Dungeon. I will see you in the video next week. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game.